Thank you. Now, Disney movies always start off with a 2D animation for the exposition scenes, sort of like how they did in the Beauty and the Beast movie back in the day. It helps them get through like 30 minutes of backstory within the first three minutes. Long ago, the world was cursed by a supernatural menace. The threat leaves destruction, death, and a dark puff of smoke in its path, and it won't rest until it wipes out everything humanity needs to survive. Cut to present day, and the world is being purged of all its resources. The event is a day that will live in infamy, and students are taught about the event in their history class. Our last hope is the female lead of the film. Her head is full of hope and fairy tale stories that were told to her by her guardians ever since she was a little girl. All of this inspires her to go on a journey to find a deity. She finds the mythical figure, and they, along with their pet animal, join forces to hopefully save the world. The team learns that a rock is the key to stopping the supernatural threat. The power of the rock unlocks the owner's ability to bend water like the characters off Avatar. And it's the missing link for connecting with the lost family members that are dead and gone. Even though the divine character is possibly a kleptomaniac and always looking for a five finger discount, the hero still finds a way to trust him or her. The more time they spend together, the stronger their bond becomes. The road trip is outlined on the map that's shaped like a deity. They take the scenic route, and that's when the hero learns some of her new friend's powers. The divine character is an excellent swimmer and could shapeshift into almost any living creature. All of the above will help them out later in the movie. During their adventure, they're taken as prisoners. The kidnapper has them right where he wants them, but then... He starts, he starts monologuing. He starts monologuing. After a couple of sentences, they're able to escape. On the boat, the two main characters share a heart to heart about why the human race is so hard to trust. One of them thinks there's no hope for humanity, while the other says there's probably a little hope left. The deity's stance on humans is based on the character's sad backstory. We learn the character's head is all messed up because his or her lost loved ones. It's obvious the divine character has been around for years and has some wisdom, so that's got to be worth something. The main character ignores direction and almost gets her new friend killed. With friends like that, who needs Disney villains? She eventually calms down and trusts the process. She goes up to the menace and survives the face off. After that, the resources are fully restored. She goes back home to check on her pops, and after he learns what she's done, she wins his approval. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <laughs>